I think this is my run into Ironman Israel. <laughs> Little update. <laughs> Three weeks out, yeah. done like three weeks of training got another basically two weeks because then it'll be taper time it's been good I had like a week last week of actually being down in Cornwall I had a few bits going on so it was a bit of a I mean initially I booked it to be the kind of holiday post Kona <laughs> which turned into not very much of a holiday it was still really good like still managed to really enjoy being somewhere new like the roads and everything around there to cycle on really good training actually like really hard riding it's like mainly like 20% hills up 20% hills down like constantly like that and it was really windy <laughs> so yeah some like good hard training days had a couple of runs on the coast that I had to come very quickly off the coast because I thought I was going to get blown into the sea so really nice to be someone new had a couple of swims in the sea as well like a little bit cold but nice to be able to get out in the sea generally like a pretty good week now got to the point of I guess this is like the kind of the key middle sort of two week block of some of the longer stuff with some intensity in so I had like a long ride on Wednesday a 40 minute a 30 minute a 20 minute and a 10 minute and a five minute block of like intervals in it of kind of building an intensity but starting at kind of Ironman pace and building up which like it's always I was actually on the road bike so I was down in Cornwall like it but it's always good I think trying to keep that power like as you're going up and over hills like especially on some of that kind of riding like it's you can kind of cheat it a little bit by going really hard up the hills and then cruising a bit but I was trying to like even it out a bit so that's actually quite good from a trying to keep the power going I then had a long ride on the TT bike yesterday like five hours on the TT bike sticking to all the flatter roads as possible around Yorkshire nice to be back on the TT bike actually like it was slightly miserable weather but not terrible and it actually wasn't windy so that was good and then today I've got long run with some intervals in it so I've got basically 12k steady and then 12k of alternating like 7.3 pace Ironman pace each k so that'll be fun just gonna go down to the canal nice and flat probably put some speedy shoes on <laughs> more just to like get the recovery in the legs afterwards than because I want to feel fast or the that is a bonus so that'd be good and then yeah next week I think it'll look quite similar again like a bit more volume and intensity feeling quite fit again but not I think like partly because of all the like driving around and some of the travel and a few late nights with things like fireworks night um means I generally feel quite tired so I don't feel like super fresh and fit but then I wouldn't really expect to feel like that at this point in training anyway but yeah I think that'd be good like swimming's been pretty good I had like actually a really good session last week of doing like hundreds and basically doing all of them at like 116, 117, like with a good amount of rest. But I think that's one of the first times I've managed to, well, it's been like the last few weeks has been the first time I've managed to hold that consistently across a block of like 20 to 30 hundreds. Whereas before I was maybe getting like four or five and then falling off a cliff. So <laughs> swimming feels like it's in a good place. And the biking and running again, like it's kind of getting back there. So hopefully in three weeks time, or well, less than three weeks time now, be ready to go. Have I checked the course? I have done a bit of Google mapsing. The lake, I'm gonna get, even though it's the Sea of Galilee, it is a big lake, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> I think it's lake. It actually, it's quite warm at the moment, but there is a small chance that we're gonna be right on the verge of wetsuit, non-wetsuit. So it could actually be a very cold, non-wetsuit swim. Like I say cold, I find it quite cold when it's like 22 degrees and we're non-wetsuit. Because I think it's like currently 26, but they were forecasting it to drop to like 22 and a half in 10 days. So we'll see. But it should be quite, quite a nice straightforward swim. Bike is super flat. Generally looks like pretty good roads. Like I think, I don't think the tarmac is going to be like the absolute smoothest, but it looks pretty decent from what I've looked at. And it's basically just two laps of like out and back. So pretty simple and the run's pretty similar so like I think it would just be yeah fast 
don't know how windy it tends to get there. I don't think there's much to shelter you. So if it is windy, it's probably gonna be really windy. At least with that kind of course, you definitely get like tailwind one way, <laughs> headwind the other. So a bit of wind is probably good for me. But I think it'll be good. Like it looks like just quite a interesting place to go. We'll probably try and like pop into Jerusalem and Tel Aviv afterwards because they're meant to be pretty, pretty amazing to visit. I don't know if I can afford to bring Jack out yet, so <laughs> don't want to talk about his birthday party if we can't make it. Potentially a big birthday party. But yeah, should be fun. And like, like as I said, like good group of people going out. So it'll be nice to just have other people around and have a, like, a fun experience out there.